Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the MSVCP140.dll missing error that you are experiencing on your Windows computer. Hopefully this shouldn't take very long and this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by actually opening up the start menu just by left clicking on it one time, the start button and then type in a folder options best match should come back with file explorer options go ahead and just left click on that select the view tab and then underneath hidden files and folders select show hidden files folders and drives and then select apply and okay once you've done that we want to go ahead and open up a web browser doesn't matter which one i usually open up chrome for these tutorials and that's what we're going to go with in today's video And what we're going to do is head over to Google. So I know I could just search Google by typing in the address bar. I know that people tell me that all the time, but I like to get everybody on the same page here. So, I mean, obviously, depending on what your search engine is, just want to get everybody over to Google for my tutorials. That's why I do it. So anyway, into Google, we're going to type in msbcp140.dll download and just want to search that up. One of the best sites should be from uh, www.dll/files.com. This is the site you want to get it from. You don't want to get it from any other sites. No advertisements. You want to get it directly from these guys. So we're going to go ahead and just select the download option. So you notice the layout of this page maybe has changed a little bit. If you've followed videos of mine in the past, websites change. That's why I like to make different updated videos every once in a while. But anyway, you can see the different version numbers listed up here. So architecture 64-bit, and you can see architecture 32-bit. Going to depend on what your operating system is. So some of you guys are going to be running a 32-bit system. Some of you guys will be having a 64-bit system. Most will download the 64 one. Just going to put that out there right away. Most are going to download the 64. Since I'm on a 32-bit computer, I'm going to download the 32-bit download. And then I'm going to select the corresponding download button. Again, most people are going to be using 64 bit. So if you don't know, more than likely you're running a 64 bit computer. You can check that. I have other tutorials on my channel of how to determine if you're on a 32 or 64 bit computer. And feel free to pause the video and check that out before you proceed with the download. I mean, this video isn't going anywhere, so you know, you're not in that big of a rush. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and just show this in the folder or open it. I'm going to open up this compressed zip file that we just downloaded here. And I would actually recommend just dragging it out of the folder and just saving it over to the desktop for right now. Close out all this. And you can close out your web browser too if you choose to do so at this point. And now what we are going to do is open up the star menu. Type in File Explorer. Best match should come back with File Explorer here. Go ahead and left click on that. Go select this PC on the left side. And then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. Should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive. So go ahead and double click on that. Now that we are here, you want to go ahead and double click on the Windows folder. And now scroll down until you get to System32. And just take this DLL file we have on our desktop and just drop it right in. So let's just move to System32. You might see there already is a file with this name in the directory. Just go ahead and select replace the file in the destination if you do come across that. So I'll continue if you need any folder permissions there. So once that's done, you should be able to close out of here. What to just restart your computer and then hopefully that should resolve the problem. You can also rehide the folder visibility that we had in the beginning of the video by selecting the view tab and then unchecking where it says hidden files. So that means we're basically back to where we started in terms of folder and file visibility. So we're just basically just doing a little cleanup work there. That's all that was. So anyway, restart your computer and then your problems should hopefully have been resolved at this point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.